Man, oh man, if you have a Ford, you're going to love this video. I'm sure most of you have never heard of Built Right Industries, but you're going to love it after you see what I have in the mail. I've been waiting for this package for a while, so sit back and enjoy. So Built Right Industries manufactures several products for newer Ford pickup trucks, whether it's an F-150 all the way up to an F-450. The products that you see here are their bedside rack system. Now think of this as kind of a molly vest for the bed of your truck. The ability to mount all sorts of different types of equipment and gear to the bed. This bed rack system is manufactured extremely well. The fit and finish on this is really amazing. They've done a phenomenal job making sure it looks great, it has an outstanding finish, and it's built right. I mean, to its name, this thing absolutely feels uh, like it's quality. It does not have any type of a cheap feel to it whatsoever. You know, there are a few things that stand out. One of them is the fact that they include this card, which is from the owner of the company, basically telling you how much they appreciate your business and the fact that they're an American-made company and they're always looking to create new and innovative products. Something I thought was kind of cool was all the hardware packs that you get have a jawbreaker in them of some flavor. There were several different flavors, but I probably had a total of nine of these things when I was done opening all the boxes. Now, in the first hardware pack, you get these two rubber grommets, and they're designed to act as essentially a buffer between the bottom of the rack and the bed side of the truck. So when he manufactured this product, he wanted to do it in such a way that any area such as this or such as any of the corners that might make contact with the bed and cause maybe a, a vibration or rattle, he wanted to minimize that. So they provided these rubber grommets that at one point I believe they used a screw and a nut that you had to attach it with, but now they use a plastic push grommet that just kind of pushes into place and it locks the grommet in and just supports it there. And all those are designed to do, again, is after you have this secured against the side of your bed, it prevents it from rattling or moving around. Or if you have something heavy perhaps hanging from the rack, it keeps that heavy item from potentially deforming the shape of the rack and it just provides some additional rigidity. It really is a good extra thought because some companies don't think of things like that. They don't think of ways to buffer those little gaps and you end up with little rattles and, and things like that. So the first thing we're going to need to do is attach these brackets to the rack. Once they're attached there, you'll attach these quick fist mounting points to those. Now the reason why I'm doing this is, if you all recall, I have that water port water tank in the bed of my truck and I've been wanting a way to move it closer to the tailgate for easier access. And this is going to give me that option, which is really nice. These racks can each support up to about 50 to 60 pounds. And now the other rack is going to give me the option to connect like a fire extinguisher or maybe even a flashlight or a gas can. You know, you have the ability to use rubber hooks. Now, this bracket attaches using basically mounting bolts that hold it directly to the rack and you can position it really anywhere on the rack you want. Then these quick fists are going to use three mounting points to connect to the other side of the bracket. So you want to make sure that the brackets are laying on their side because that's the best orientation. You'll use the two shorter bolts to connect the bracket to the rack and then the three longer bolts to connect it to the quick fist. And these quick fists simply attach through the three mounting holes that are at the bottom here. And you're going to simply feed bolts through these into this mounting bracket. Really easy.
Now what you see here are some additional metal mounting brackets that also attach to the rack system. These are designed to hold smaller things, maybe like a shovel handle or a flashlight, something that might be a little bit more compact than my water port. These are going to mount using two mounting bolts, one on the top and the bottom. You can see there the middle one really doesn't help much. One of the cool things about the side of all these brackets is they have this really, really nice laser cutout spot that shows the built right logo. I think that's just a really nice added touch and cosmetically makes the kit look really good. And just like all the other hardware packs, you're going to get a jawbreaker inside there as well. Hardware includes the long bolts to feed through the rubber grommets, as well as the shorter ones used to attach them to the rack itself. Now, though this kit was originally designed to be used with a Ford Raptor as well as a newer F-150, because the 2017 Plus Super Duty has such a similar bed design to the F-150, they basically have this kit that you can order that modifies it to work with a Super Duty. It includes this template for attaching it around the seven-way plug for a fifth wheel, as well as these extension brackets that allow the bolts that tie down or connect to where your cleats are at the end of your bed to fit properly, because there's about three quarters of an inch difference in spacing between an F-150 and this truck. Now they've included this template if you're installing it on a Super Duty. Because this was originally designed for an F-150, this template allows you to cut out a spot if you have the fifth wheel prep package, which gives you the connection on the side of your bed. And you basically just have to use a jigsaw, cut out the area, and it will make sure that it clears the plug or the seven way connector attached to the side of your bed. It's really simple and doesn't take long. So I cut the template out and basically wanted to make it look as clean as possible. So I cut it evenly around the edge so there weren't just, you know, blank pieces of metal sticking out. I need to trim off this area right here, which is going to be pretty easy. Then I'm going to take a file to it and just make sure that there's no burrs or anything that could potentially, you know, cut you or scrape you if you rub your hand against it at a later point. So I went out to the truck to eyeball just about where this is going to be and it looks like I'm going to need to cut out a little bit more. So I'm going to cut this piece right here. So now that I have the spacer bracket put on down here, I'm, I'm gonna install these two nuts and bolts right here. And the reason why I'm doing that is it will give me a little bit of help in holding this part up when I reattach the box link system. So on the Super Duty, you actually don't need a little cutout for the button for the light because the, the button's right behind this panel, so you have plenty of room to reach it. Now I'm just tightening up these two bolts. Very nice. So for the passenger side, the first thing I need to do is remove my water port. Thank you. 
So I'd say it looks pretty good. Fits well, nice and snug. These are rubber mounts, so they're gonna move a little bit, but overall it secures really, really well. And it spaces it perfectly, so the nozzle on the back here sticks right off the end where I want it. Very cool. Guys, I'll put the link to Built Right Industries website in my description. This is really cool. I actually have another product from them that I'll be installing in the cab of my truck very soon in another video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and I'll talk to you soon.